through the latter stages of the season. So to come out and make the interviews, it's going to be our very own David Coulthard, veteran of 246 Grand Prix, 13 wins, of course. Let's see how David gets on uh, with evening, the podium pressing. Good evening, race fans. What an amazing Grand Prix we've just witnessed. Gentlemen, if I can invite you down to, to the height, I'm going to start here with Kimi Raikkonen. Kimi, your first victory since the 2009 Belgian Grand Prix. Tell us about your emotions at this time. Not much, really. Uh... <laughs> the people want to know how amazing it is to win a Grand Prix. Deep, delve deep, tell us. Well, uh, last time you guys was giving me shit because I didn't really smile enough, so maybe this time again, but I mean, I'm very happy for the team and uh, for myself, but mainly for the team. Uh, it's been a hard season for, for the team and uh, not the easy times lately. Um, hopefully this gives a bit more belief, uh, not just for the guys uh, making the, all the work, but also for the guys who run the team. So uh, I hope this can turn around the tables and uh, give us uh, many more good races and uh, wins, um, if not this year, then next year again. OK, well, I'll come back to you in a moment. Thank Congratulations you. on that fantastic victory. <laughs> Turning now to our second place man, Fernando, you never give up. You were chasing Kimi down in the closing stages of the Grand Prix there. You must be surprised to see your world title. Well, all three of you were technically in the world championship battle until this moment. Tell us about your race and uh, how you felt it was going. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I think uh, we were uh, not super competitive this weekend. We started in 7-6 uh, at the end with uh, Sebastian penalty. So we had to fight all through the race, the first lap, some good overtakings, and then uh, a very good strategy that uh, gave us the possibility to fight until the end for the victory. In the last couple of laps, Kimi was a little bit slower, so we attacked, but uh, uh, second, I think, was the maximum today, starting six, so perfect Sunday again for us, and we keep fighting until the end. So, very impressive. We thank you for that. And uh, I suspect that this man in third place probably feels like that's a victory. Sebastian, did you honestly believe you could be standing here this afternoon starting from the uh, from the uh, end of the pit lane? Yes, I did, to be honest with you. I think uh, <laughs> after the first couple of laps, uh, obviously that, that target was drifting a little bit away. I had a messy start to the race. Obviously, it's quite difficult in the back. I wanted to get through the cars as quickly as I could, damage my front wing, and then in the safety car. Um, yeah, I had a little bit of a... Big mistake with uh, Daniel, I think, um, who was stopping his car on the straights, and I was very surprised. Turned to the right, and uh, if it would have been 50 meters earlier, 50 meters later, I wouldn't have uh, damaged my front wing further. But uh, after that, yeah, I said to myself, uh, yeah, a a either we go uh, full attack or nothing. So um, that's what we did, and I had a fantastic race. I enjoyed it a lot. Obviously, a safety car here and there was helping the second one, um, and after in the end, it was a nice fight with Jensen. He was difficult to pass. I think uh, it was. Uh, I expected to, yeah, have a little bit easier time um, because obviously I was uh, passing a bit slower cars before, and uh, with him I was really struggling. But then I just squeezed my way past into turn 11, which was nice. He was very fair, but um, for sure, as you said, it was a thrilling Grand Prix, up and down all the time. And uh, yeah, um, obviously it's very nice to stand here now, pick up a trophy, and uh, drink some champagne. Not actually champagne. I don't know what it is, but. Uh, Tastes good. Rose water. Well, your name is up there as a double world champion. Do you now feel that you've got your hand on one side of the cup for a third world title? Um, I think it's still two races to go. So uh, obviously we see how quickly things can change. Yesterday was a surprise for us, I think. Would we have started from third? It would have been a different race. But um, yeah, it was obviously a, a chance to fuck it up. And uh, we didn't do that. So I think we can be very proud today. We got the maximum, um, lost only a lap, very, very little bit. I think we have the momentum still, the car is bloody quick, so looking forward to the, the next two races. So, yeah, I think we, we are uh, definitely uh, believing in it, and um, that's the target. OK, well, Sebastian, thank you for those words, and uh, we should just remind our audience that he is speaking in his second language. We apologise for, uh, for the choice of words that you had. Kimi, coming back to you. You've won before, you've won the title before, you're standing here, you sent the message to the team about how you hope this will motivate to future success. But you know, when is this moment going to sink in that you've just won a Grand Prix in your comeback year? Um, I was really, I was really hoping. 
hoping to have it uh, or win it before already. But uh, I mean, like I said, I'm happy. But there's nothing to jump uh, jump around about, and uh, we we still have a few races to go and try to do the same again. And uh, uh, for sure, we're gonna have a uh, good party today. And uh, hopefully tomorrow, when we are feeling bad uh, after the after a long night, uh, we will remember that we uh, why, why we why we feel like that. So. Uh, but I'm just happy for, for everybody in the team. OK, well, Kimi, Fernando, Sebastian, thank you very much for giving us a spectacular race. To the many hundreds of millions of fans around or watching, tune in for the last two Grand Prix. We have a real world title battle on our hands. Thank you. Indeed we do. So, Kimi Raikkonen wins for the first time since driving a Ferrari to victory at Spa in 2009.